Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, Comic Freak. Today we're going to be talking about how the elites of Hollywood are trying to cover their tails by having Universal pull the movie Hunt from theaters. It was going to come out, uh, I think, September 27th. Well, they're pulling it because of all the bad publicity they're getting because they're making this movie. The movie is about how uh, liberal elites are going to hunt the deplorables, otherwise ordinary people from red states. Yes. I didn't even know this movie was coming out. It was made by the people who made The Purge and Get Out, of course. And other people have noted that their people are really getting tired of this current trend of making battle royal movies. This is pretty much what it is. A movie about a bunch of people being hunted by other people, either being rich or for other political reasons. Movies like this have always been made in one form or another. Back in the 30s, they made a movie called The Most Dangerous Game, as well as a nice teen movie back in the late 90s where, where he ended up being a, 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 a guy from the projects who was taken out to the woods by a bunch of rich people and then hunted, hunted by them. So movies about people being hunted and killed over one reason or another, isn't that div different from the torture movies they made in the aughts? You know, the, like the Hostel movies, you know, where they would get people and uh, tie them up and then have other people be torturing them for money. This isn't that different except the game and this movie can fight back. As you know, Trump has gone on a Twitter rant and I have his, uh, tweet right here. Liberal Hollywood is racist at the highest level, and with great anger and hate, they like to call themselves elite, but they are not the elite. In fact, it is often the people that they are so strongly opposing that are actually the elite. Trump tweeted on Friday in a two-part attack on the film and Hollywood in general. Way to go, Trump. Once again, you prove that you are right, or at least I am right, in the fact that I voted for you. And he goes on to say, The movie coming out is made in order to film flame and cause chaos. They create their own violence and they try to blame others. They are the true racists and are very bad for our country, said the president. The next day, the studio released a statement announcing the film's demise. Yeah, that's right. Tuck your tail between your knee knees and go away. Take that movie and just hide it away. Of course, they're going to release it again in a few months. There's too much going on with it for them not to release. Of course, there's the fact it could backfire in their faces and make more people more Trump supporters because they're showing that a bunch of liberals would love to hunt and kill us. Now, Universal released the statement, and I have it right here for you to see. While Universal Pictures had already paused the marketing campaign for the hunt, after thoughtful consideration, the studio has decided to cancel our plans to release the film. We stand by our filmmakers and will continue to distribute the films in partnership with bold and visionary creators like those associated with the satirical social thriller. But we understand that now is not the right time to release the film. As I said, they are going to release this film. And the longer it takes, the more likely it's going to backfire in their faces because it's going to piss off Trump supporters to no end. And it's just going to make more people Trump supporters. I'll tell you this much. Because of all the hype around it, if they did release it, it probably would have made a lot more money. But because of them pulling it out, now we have no idea, or they don't have any idea, how much money it will actually make. I don't think they even care. If it fails, they wouldn't care because they would have told their view on how they view us. But if it made a lot of money, it would also have inflamed people to become Trump supporters. Now, I have the article right here, and I'll have to make my words about this article. Universal has decided to scrap the release of The Hunt, an R-rated satire in which elites hunt deplorables for sport. Following a series of mass shootings across the country, the film had been set to hit theaters on September 27th. You heard that. They're worried that this will make more people, or, or whether more people hate them, because it's showing the glory of gun violence. Even though they, as I've said, show the, the glory of gun violence, they themselves think they are the only ones who should have guns as well as the military, so they can force everyone who's beneath them to heal. 
if you think about it, they're always going on about gun violence and about these shootings that have happened. They're saying that they should restrict our rights to guns and that no one should actually have a gun, even though they themselves, if they had the option, they would probably try and shoot us and try to keep going about how much better they are by saying that they are white knighting and that they are better than us and that shooting people is not wrong, even though they themselves are being portrayed as the villains here. Make no mistake, if a lot of these communists guys were to get any kind of real power, they would make this entire country a complete hellhole. See this guy here who's one of the main villains in the movie? Look how, uh, well, douchebaggy he looks. He's your typical liberal elite, and he has that gun. But it's amazing he can actually use that damn thing. Now, he presents that liberals are, if they were to do this, are would be as bad as as uh, right-wingers if they were to go around shooting people. And that is true. But I think I like the right-wingers more because at least they don't always come across as so schneid and shillish. And this is a problem with movies like The Last Jedi as well as uh, the MCU movies when they try pushing this political agenda. The characters in it are so unbelievable that you, there's no way they'd be actually be real people. You, look at him. He did, this guy didn't look like a real person. Now, the article goes on to say, even before Trump weighed in on the movie, sparked an outcry on social media amid the public anger over gun violence and networks entered into the conversation when ESPN pulled on ad for the film that it had previously cleared. Subsequently, Universal pulled all spots. Hmm. While Universal Pictures had already paused the marketing campaign for the hunt, after thoughtful consideration, yeah, you just didn't want to keep dealing with all the bad publicity you were getting. Even though a lot of times you would love to have this kind of, this kind of flair of violence and mayhem to sell your movies. Apparently when it's directed at you in such a way, you don't like it. Now these people just don't care. They want the money. And but because it would look like it's going to hurt them, they're taking it away. But make no mistakes, they will try to release this movie still. And it will probably still backfire, as I said before earlier in this video. <sighs> the article continues to say, The violent movie from producer James Bloom, Bloomhouse Productions, follows a dozen individuals woke up in a clear and realized they are being stalked for sport by elite liberals. Yeah. That is what this movie is about. But it looks like a good horror movie. The premise is as original as The Purge and the the same kind of uh, hunt movies. Or, as I said, let me rephrase that, Battle Royal movies. Directed by Greg Zerbel, The Hunt is written by De Demon Landroff and Nick Cruz. Nick Cruz. The movie stars Betty Gilpin, Glow, and Hilary Swank, representing opposite sides of the politi political divide. And I saw the trailer. Uh, Hil Hilary Swank comes off as a real witch. And Betty Gilpin is your typical southern gal. But the way they're presented is more comical. It's not actually a funny movie, I would say. Maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't seen it. But Betty Gilpin comes just as unreal as Hilary Swank. These are just the classic stereotypes. The deplorables, the southern people, these uh, elites kidnap, are supposed to be the heroes. But they just come across as your, as I said, classic stereotypes of southern people. You know, a lot of people who voted for Trump were black people, as well as Latinos. You know, you could have had a couple of mix of them, but that would make the liberal elites even more racist for hunting them. And I didn't see any, uh, any minorities among the liberals, I think, hunting these people. Yes, they won't touch anyone who's actually a minority, even though a lot of people are prone to violence in all races. So you liberals don't want to show anyone being evil unless they're white. So I would have to say this. Screw you. Violence exists among everyone in the human race. And this movie will most likely, especially after all the hype is down, bomb, and your one chance to make a profit on this movie, Universal, was to release it as soon as possible because you want a hype for this movie. It's what you usually do, isn't it? And I really hate that. And I hope this movie fails and you will finally learn some kind of lesson. I doubt it, though. So... If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube at Read Comics, They're Bad For You, please subscribe to me.
Also, go to BitChute and subscribe to Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. Also, could you please share this on uh, social media? Share it on Twitter as well as on Facebook if you could. Yeah, I'm just I'm asking because YouTube refuses to promote my videos, just like it will pr not promote anyone else who's critical of them. Also, keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. Well, I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.